I'm hiking in a section of the trail systems above our home that uh, is not well traveled. It's a place that's not marked. It's some beautiful trails. I love to come up here and with the sun just breaking. And uh, I come up here to listen to the Lord. And for the last few weeks, I've been sensing that the Lord's saying that the current prophetic movement in the body of Christ may not be the prophetic movement that God raises up to speak to the church about the forthcoming events and things that God wants to do in the face of the earth. Not to say that the existing platforms of ministry are not going to speak and have something valid to say, but there's a whole group that are being raised up right now that do not have public platforms, do not have places of ministry of visible significance. And God is raising those people up to speak, much like some of the prophets in the Old Covenant did. We have divided the Old Testament prophets, prophets into minor and major prophets, and I've always thought that's kind of interesting, considering Joel, who announced the coming of Pentecost, would be considered a minor prophet. And I think in many ways we have defined some people that way today, that we have a tendency to look at significance based on platform instead of the profound nature of the word they bring. So I want to encourage some of you who may find yourself in a place where you feel insignificant, that your voice has been limited, that you don't have a national platform. Frankly, when God's involved, you don't need any of those things at all. All you need is to be willing, willing to speak His Word. And like this uh, trail that I'm on right now, it's not published, it's not significant, it's not really on anybody's map. I like it because nobody's out here except me and a fox or two. And out here, God speaks profoundly as He would if I was speaking at a large conference. So I just want to encourage you today, God may be raising you up. You may be that new uh, move of prophetic ministry that's not yet seen on the horizon. But when you come, you're going to bring the word of the Lord, and that's going to shift everything. Take care. God bless.